tous et bienvenue sur xboxlive.fr, c'est Plague the Wise, je suis heureux de vous retrouver aujourd'hui pour une nouvelle vidéo consacrée au prochain jeu Game with Gold du mois de septembre, il s'agit de Ocean 3, euh, c'est un jeu qui sera euh, disponible gratuitement le 15 septembre prochain pour les abonnés Xbox Live Gold et on va découvrir ensemble le contenu et de quoi il s'agit. Alors il s'agit d'un jeu ID at Xbox qui est sorti en janvier 2016 sur Xbox One. Il a été développé par un studio qui s'appelle Night School Studio. Et euh, c'est un jeu, donc, comme vous pouvez le voir, en 2D, euh, dans lequel on va retrouver euh, une bande de copains dans un, dans un thriller surnaturel euh, dans lequel ils vont devoir euh, résoudre des énigmes pour pouvoir avancer, euh, avancer dans l'histoire. Donc euh, clairement c'est un jeu très narratif, euh, uniquement en anglais, donc sous-titré en anglais. Donc là pour les français qui ne maîtrisent pas forcément la langue ça va être un peu compliqué sachant que malgré tout ça reste assez simple euh, de comprendre l'histoire et les actions à réaliser. Mais effectivement ça va manquer un peu de du coup d'intensité pour nous euh, si vous ne euh, maîtrisez pas la langue anglaise. Après ça reste un très bon jeu, les 1000G sont largement accessibles, hein. euh, on a quasiment 25% de personnes sur le site qui ont euh, 100% des succès. Outre le fait qu'ils soient en anglais, et donc ça, ça peut rebuter certains, il faut aussi regarder l'aspect graphique du jeu et la qualité technique, hein, clairement, euh, qui est vraiment... Euh, vraiment intéressante et surtout de la part d'un jeu indépendant, enfin d'un studio indépendant et euh, ça mérite d'aller plus loin dans l'histoire et de finir le jeu concrètement. Si vous avez des questions particulières, il ne faut pas hésiter à les poser sur xboxlive.fr, nous on y répondra et puis bah, moi je vais vous laisser avec le reste de la vidéo pour découvrir plus simplement et plus calmement le reste de l'histoire. Salut à tous Just happy to be on the team. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen... Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. But yeah, world friends. Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's C, Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Yeah, I, um, did notice that. It's a little hush-hush, but she's dropping us off and then doing a, uh, miscount on the way back. So we can spend the night. Passengers, Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so, how do you It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the bye. Shouldn't we wait until we get there or at least meet up with the others? No, no, no. This is the core unit anyway. The rest are like our guest stars. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk. Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. We, uh, need a girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this out. Great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, Basically, right now, about our thing, so tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which, which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or 
whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, you know what? She doesn't smoke either, so... <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all my to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. So let's be buddies. Um, just never mind. I've already made everyone uncomfortable, so... No, it's... You're not making anyone uncomfortable, but... I mean, let's all just go up. We're like at hour one here. You'll have ample family bonding time. Uh, yeah. Fine, sure. No problem. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh... Really? That's kind of... Does this go anywhere? More closed stores or trees? I don't know, but it's not where we're going. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, uh, if and we, nobody lives the here Camina the High Junior closed, Class, whose car have is come this? to commit improper acts. Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And no, th there must be some kind of logical explanation. Like, like the rocks are somehow able to conduct lower frequencies or pick up broadcasts from further away or something. Or it's aliens. So back up. Oh, hey, this is the Parks and Facilities office. Didn't, didn't your sister Allison work here? Allie? Yeah, she did for a few years, actually. Easy money, since nobody's allowed in the parks, and barely anybody here needs facilities. But yeah, Maggie Adler, that's it. The only person who lives here. She's never left the island. <laughs> I think that's what I would call a hermit. Well, it takes a certain someone, and actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones... Man... They close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Well, we're here. Maybe I want to buy an ornament or something. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... Don't get too used to her. 
Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's... It's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Ugh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. And now you're not talking to me. Okay, great. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. We, um, don't normally bicker so much. Yes, normally I just agree with whatever she says. So this is unusual. 